Dude, bald eagles attack children in Alaska. Jackal, I'm trying to read the strategy <laughs> guide. The bald eagles grab children in Alaska. They don't grab children, they attack, they attack children. Yeah. Like right. kindergartners like have to walk in packs. That's great. <laughs> Wait, they have you... to form clans to get to class and they're dying. <laughs> yeah. Across or farther walk I mean... to the classroom is like a raid zone. It's like a TV <laughs> environment. I don't get why Heavenly uh... doesn't find this a lot funnier. This is hilarious to me. Because I actually watched an eagle attack a child. That shit wasn't funny. But... <laughs> <laughs> you miserable waste of space! Dauntless. The game that makes you say... Oh, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? But in a good way. And let me explain. You know in the movies when a giant monster shows up like Godzilla or King Kong and some asshole starts lighting them up with an M4 and frag grenades? We're wasting ammo here! You can't harm us! This is dumb! Dauntless is kind of like that. This is a horrible analogy. Please stop. Only instead of the monsters being the size of 10 buildings and virtually immortal, the monsters are the size of a house and very mortal. That means they can die. And instead of the end result being terror, like you being crushed by a parked car, the result is fun. With you and your buddies taking down a giant anathema of a monster. Paranormal! That's Dauntless in a nutshell. A game that's free to play, available from May 21st on PS4, Xbox, and PC, so you can find a link to the game down below. And thanks to Dauntless for sponsoring this video. And now we go deeper. Do what? There happens to be a why behind all of this. You're not just tossing frag grenades at a giant monster because you have too many lying around and baseball doesn't exist. The crux of it is, these behemoths are destroying your world called the Shattered Isles by consuming all of his energy called Aether. Overlord Actual, this is 2-1. I have no idea what this man just said. Basically, they're eating your lunch and you've got to teach them about your peaceful ways by forcefully wiping them off the face of the earth. All we have to put the owlbear. Ow, ow, ow. Which is where you come in as what's formerly called a slayer in charge of exterminating the monsters and defending your Aether. You see this face right here? This is the only thing standing between humanity and imminent doom. Oh my god, his face! At least one of the faces defending humanity, because the game has a top tier character creator and the possibilities are endless. You don't max out lip thickness, I don't know what's wrong with you. My Why? face is literally a battering ram. <laughs> Shove me into a fucking door. <laughs> and deciding on the size of your nose bridge and how thick you want your lips is only the beginning of your choices, because picking your weapon comes next in the form of swords, hammers, and even chain blades. Cutting his face off, just give me a second. Oh Miss wow, you flipped his ass. Oh my god. Did you just... <laughs> Duct tape knives to your yo-yo? Dude, I'm a fucking Beyblade. Axes, if you want big damage, slowly. My handle is not big enough. It's not. I need a bigger one. Look at it. Wait, Harry, this, you, know, you fucking casual. War pikes, if you want small damage, quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 And my personal favorite that I basically use the whole time, Ostian repeaters. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, bang. I probably should have told you this first. I kind of hate when the waiter comes around and tells you all the specials when you don't at all want them and essentially just wastes your meal time. Just show me the guns, asshole. All of the weapons bring something special to the table and are powerful in their own unique way, but I just insta-lock dualies as a knee-jerk reaction from Counter-Strike. This isn't your home turf. <laughs> oh, shit. These guns are really powerful. No matter the weapon you choose, they're all designed for one thing and one thing only. Monster murder. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Condensing it down, slaying monsters gets you better skills and better gear, granting you a greater mastery of a certain weapon and advanced equipment to slay bigger and badder behemoths like a goofy-ass owlbear shrike. Fan of owls, fan of bears, but this owlbear shrike shit has got to go. Hey, he's dead. He's dead. He fucking murdered it, boys. Fucking get it! You're nothing! You're nothing! I hate you! Sorry, I had a lot to work through there. You can also unlock rewards via the Hunt Pass. Just like a Battle Pass in other games, the basic version is free, and the Elite Track you can pay for so that you can unlock neato items and cosmetics over the course of a season, like the Throwing Stars intro and the Elite Hunt Pass. Damn, dude, NBA Jam. Nice throwing stars, you ass. Why did you come down with the balloons? <laughs> <laughs> Items are also available outside of the battle pass, so no matter if it's a skin, emote, or character intro, use my epic supporter creator code for the love of God, I beg you. I ain't dead yet, like, motherfuckers. Like exactly I'm still alive. Get me out of here, dude. Oh, you're fucking pumpkin. Back to the pack. Right, I'm about to head out. <laughs> this shit is 
full of Kool-Aid. Oh, cheers, bro. I'll drink to that. Now that you've got some gear, it's time to kill a behemoth. So select one from the pursuit screen, land in style, find it, and fire a flare into the sky to show your teammates where it is. I found him! Dude, yeah, you want to fire your flare there, pal? And the three kings follow the northern star, and it's just a fucking pack symbol in the sky. Once you arrive, basic attacks are where you start. Every weapon is different, but focusing on repeaters from now on, that meant that I was busting shot after shot into the behemoth and watching numbers pop out like candy out of a pinata. Bang, bang, you, you. Gray is real damage that takes from the behemoth's HP. Yellow is part damage, which not only reduces HP, but enough of it breaks parts off the monster and creates a drop, like the armor off the head of a scar. Heavenly, do you oh think the scene Oh my god, I just broke off his uh, head plate. I can finally say that he's dumber than a rock, even though he is a rock. Red is wound damage, which at a certain point makes parts take extra damage, almost like you're rubbing salt into an open sore. And blue is stagger damage, where you can knock down the behemoth into a temporarily stunned state so you can basically beat the shit out of it while it's down. Beat him while he's down, fellas. No mercy. Aim for the head. <laughs> Give me your money. Give me your money. But you won't just be boringly clicking on body parts until it dies because you've got skill shot abilities like an explosive missile. Hit, Hit or miss. Hit. Fuck. Throne ability is like an attack buff that makes you fire harder and faster for a limited time. Damage buff! Pow, 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 pow! And furthermore, the game rewards you the closer you are to the behemoth. And in hindsight, I was being a total shitter in most of these clips because I was too far away and the damage drop off was massive. Once I learned to get up close and personal, not only did I learn that basic attacks do more damage, but if you reload in close proximity to a behemoth, your abilities become empowered. When this happens, your throne abilities get even stronger, like skill shotting three missiles instead of one, and that damage buff you throw out is given to all of your Slayer teammates. Stay in one spot so I can reload and get the buff, you asshole. Ow. God, you inconsiderate fuck. I'm, I, I, there you go, I got it, I got it. <clears throat> No, give me my buff! He landed on my buff, you absolute cretin! And here it comes, here comes the triple sword. Yeah. Damn! Just grab whatever you can. This is so many bullets so quickly, I feel like my wrists are gonna break. Grenades? Yeah, there's grenades. Eat this, Burn you out. fat fucking rock! Yeah! There's even variants of nades, like the concussive nade, that didn't quite work the way that I thought it did. Okay, okay, up. okay, hold on, I got my grenade ready. Okay, I'm gonna- I threw it, I threw it! It did not work. It, it, it did it, not it, work. It, I it, am it, running. It, oh, oh, God. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh. No! Get away from me, you garbage. Just <laughs> God damn it. In fact, there's all kinds of different consumables. Health potions that do the obvious. Stat buffs for you and your teammates. Airstrikes that make you feel like Oscar Mike. Bulwark tonic that makes you into a defensive god. Whatever you want temporarily improved, you can find it in consumables. Oh, my strong bulwark may be a little bit too powerful. Be me, potion seller. Some fucking <laughs> drunk walks up and keeps telling me he wants my strongest potion. I said you can't handle it. Get fired. <laughs> I'm going Bulwark Tonic and then all offense, just to be a vexing piece of shit. You're gonna need all the potions you can get your hands on once these monsters get angry, where they enter an enraged state of greater damage, faster attacks, different attack patterns, and all the terror that comes along with becoming an eyes glow Real shit. meme, like the fact that revives from teammates are now disabled. Come on, you pig of a dinosaur, let's go! You see, you gotta go into, into danger mode, you know? Angry, angry. monster mode. Angry mode. He is big, like he is on fire, and he is angry. A lesser form of this enraged state is called Aether Charge, where these effects are milder, but still mighty powerful, because if you suck shit like me, you can turn an ordinary battleground into a real minefield of problems. Yeah, don't shit. play soccer so on a minefield, you big dumb idiot. He's angry now. He's angry, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, he got, I'm frozen. What Please happened to my speed me. Bomb? Help me! God damn it. You assholes, get me out of here. I need. Oh, girls, bring yourself up. Oh. Plenty of the harder behemoths you'll have to fight in two parts because once they take enough damage, they'll retreat to a new location. Get him! Before they get away! And there he goes. He's relocating. Which isn't all bad because it gives you a chance to share that poetry that you've been working on all week with your brothers. Roses are red, violets are blue. My family doesn't know that I'm money laundering. Please help. Money <laughs> <laughs> laundering are for red, the violets are blue. I have a gun. Get in the van. <laughs> And if you're the first one there, you can drink all the slurp juice from the crack for max health, leaving absolutely nothing for your teammates. I'm gonna go hog that. I'm gonna go drink all of it. Yeah, and no one can stop me! <laughs>
All right. Behemoths come in all shapes and sizes. Some are shitty on offense, but big on defense, like the Papega looking scar, and that's basically just a giant sentient rock. Bro, he looks like a corrosive barrel that had sex with a fish. Literal Stegosaurus in its final form. It walks in brown with the grace of a fucking dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Which is strange when you think about it, because a gun is just an extremely advanced apparatus for firing a rock, so it's almost like we were using rocks to kill a rock. I use the stones hey, hey Jack, hey Jack. to destroy the stones. Oh, oh. I think I need to switch weapons. I, I, I'm not a smart man, but I don't think a sharp stick works against rock. <laughs> Conversely, you've got behemoths with shitty defense and stacked offense like the appropriately named Shroud teaming with dark energy and a shadow clone that feels like fighting two monsters at once and for good reason. One is called Shroud. This is not good. Oh shit! Heavenly, this entire monster fight has literally been. What the fuck? Is this allowed? What the, what the fuck? Is, is this, this allowed? allowed? There it is. No fucking way. I'm a, I'm a god, by the way. The number of behemoths and types of behemoths may seem overwhelming at first, but if you've ever played Pokemon, you'll get it. Like, fire weapons are good against ice behemoths. Ice weapons are good against fire behemoths. You know what I mean. Parry this, you fucking casual. Just don't miss out on the Radiant Valamir. That thing is like a radioactive beetle light show, and he didn't have any goofy cheese tactics. My absolute favorite. Oh, oh my God. man, that's awesome. Even so though I'm gonna go. murder him okay, in cold blood, Oh, it's still still awesome. He's such Yo, a beautiful attack, beetle. I can't wait to have him as a head. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah. There he goes into the sky. Where's he gonna? Where's he gonna land? Oh, I okay, hear him here. Welcome to the Thunderdome. No, you, you have to damage the dome. Damage the dome. And he's dead. Hey, nope, he's, he's dead. Damn. Yo, we fight that again. Like, that, that dude is so fun. much fun. Whatever you do, and I'm begging you, with tears in my eyes, please play the game with friends. It's a breeze to add anybody because it's all run through Epic Games accounts, and we even saw Xbox players because cross-platform play is enabled. So no matter how amazing or terrible the buddies you find, they're worth having. What'd you do with your tax returns? Reduce them to ass. <laughs> <laughs> Press any button pushes the power button. Wow. <laughs> Even randos will do because we happen to run into a couple dudes who knew who I was and they were great guys. You can find buddies in the city if you try hard enough. No way. No way. Always sight. Always sight. No it's always sight, way. bro. It's always sight, in bro. Dauntless? In dauntless? It's always sight, bro. Look, you got two. Two now. No way! Is that? <laughs> it's on sight. You're... He's an influence. He's out here. He's crazy. How do I have fun in this game? <laughs> Kill <laughs> monsters. <laughs> He knows what's up. There's the you don't. There it is. So if this preview interested you at all, you can play Dauntless via the link below. It's totally free to play, and if you enjoy yourself, the hunt pass is only about 10 bucks. I encourage you to give it a shot. Just don't forget to use code the Russian Badger at the Epic Games Store. I swear to God, you don't have to, but I would appreciate it. And that is about it. I would like to thank you so very much for watching all the way to the end of the video. That's like a real feat in and of itself. Thanks again to Dauntless for sponsoring this video. I had a ton of fun. And be sure to tune in next time when we determine if a flamethrower is a viable alternative to owning a microwave.